Hi again, everybody. Uh, this is a video about how to groom your wire hair dachshund's legs uh, for show. And I'll also show you how to roll a coat on this episode. As you can see, I have finished grooming Abby's body. She looks a lot neater and prettier now. And uh, as you can see, I always brush her down before we get started, and I always brush the beard and the mustache forward. Okay? So, the first thing I do when I'm doing a leg, I'm only going to do one so you can see on the front and the back. I like my girls standing up. That way I can see what I'm working with. And I learned the leg technique from terrier uh owners and a professional groomer that does handles nothing but terriers and has the most beautiful legs. What he suggested I do, Abby, keep your head over, honey, is take the leg and you pull straight down. You're going to pull hair straight down all around the leg, all around. To save time on the videos, I've kind of already done her legs. We do the same thing around the back where she has the fringe. Come here, sweetheart. I pull this way and I pull this way until I feel like I have everything pulled. But all the way up past her wrist, I pull straight down, just straight down. And what you want is to make it nice and clean, okay? Next thing I do, as I brush this fringe backwards, trying to make it where she's sitting when you can see, but she's stringing her up here. But I'm trying to keep her head out of the way. I brush this backwards. Kara, stop. And with my thinning shears, if there's anything that's fly away or flying out, Put your shears, and if, here's a hint. If you put your hand on their shoulder, they won't lift their leg. I take and I trim this way. I learned this from watching a long-haired wire hair grooming video. And uh, I was told I was better at it than anybody. But you do it that way until there's nothing flying back and looking like it's flying out away from her arm. You don't want her to look like she's elbowing out when she moves like this. Next, it's easier if I lay her down. Come on, Abigail. Uh, lay down, sweet baby. Head down. I comb her leg. And then I comb everything to the middle, like a mohawk. From both sides to the middle. Now I've already done her legs, so I'm just doing this as pretend. But then I take my thinning shears, and from her toes up her legs, I trim it even. Then once I've done the middle, I do it all to the side, trim it even. Then I do it all back to this side and trim it again. This is also the time I take and I look at what's behind here. Now, I want you to realize that behind her leg, right in here, People tend to leave that real thick and clumpy. Make sure you don't. Take all that down. Use your thinning, uh, use your stripping knife and make sure you pull that out good. You want to always pull that out to where it's not big and thick and clumpy. Next, this is a good opportunity for me to trim up pads. Head down. So I'll go around her pads. This is a good time. This is how I kind of trim up her, around her foot. But I'll trim around each pad, holding her leg like this. So you can see, 
a good way to clean up pads. I just hold the scissors flush with the pads. That way you don't have to worry about cutting them. And I love these little scissors from Sally's. They do a great job. Around this back pad here, I always go very close. I don't want a lot of hair hanging over the foot. And that's all there is to that. You do all, both, I do each leg on each side. Now for the back leg, same thing. I pull, pull, pull straight down. If you put a hand over her hip, she won't lift her foot. You can go around, trim. And also, when you do the back of her leg, back under her hock, you want to make sure you get all this hair that wants to curl up. Do the, stop, the hock. And this hair right in here can tend to get very clumpy and thick too. Make sure you thin that out too. Then when you are ready to trim the pads, I go around. Good girl, good girl, Abby. Abby's just about out of her false pregnancy now. Um, which is a good thing. So that's how we actually do the legs. Remember, just pull straight down all the way around. I just trim these back legs until they're not tight like a smooth by any means, but um, I see something I didn't like here, so I'm gonna, nope, still didn't get it, it's right here. Don't be afraid to use your knife. There, I like that better. But that's how we do legs. Now I'm gonna show you how to roll a coat. This is so easy, you're gonna think, well, I don't know why I didn't think of that myself. But I started her neck, right here where it meets her head. And you roll the coat up between your, your fingers and your thumb, and you take a look. And what you wanna do is pull any hair that is longer than the rest. I don't know if Lyle's getting a close-up of this, where you can see, but then you roll it again, and any hair that's longer than the rest, you pull. This is how you're gonna keep it neat in between groomings. Then you roll again, and you pull anything that's longer than the rest, Roll again. They have all this flesh, so it's easy to roll. I go straight down their back. I kind of follow the same process as when I'm stripping her, just because it's easier for me to work that way. It gives me a method, a, a road map to work from. But like you can see, I hope you can see it. I'm not sure you can, but there's some long hairs right here. So I miss those. You know, stripping is not an exact science, so you're not ever gonna have it all completely the same. And you might not want to always have it the same. Uh, in the next video where I do the tail and the sensitive areas, um, then I hope to, the next video, show you the show grooming. Um, I'll show you why I say that. Now a lot of times you, oh, I see something there. She doesn't mind this process at all. It's kind of like a body massage. And I did a pretty good job back here. But this is just how you're gonna keep it tidy over the interim between major stripping because there is stripping to their underwear, which is kind of scary at first. Then I'll come back on the side of their neck. Now see all this, that should come off. 
I want to make that even with everything else. So I'll just pull those hairs out. As you can see, I had quite a bit, but this is how you roll the coat. I do from here down the spine, down the very center of the back. Then I come back and I work down each side. Then I'll turn her on her side and work farther down. It's okay to use a stool or a chair here if you're more comfortable, no sense in breaking your back. But this is how we roll a coat. That's all in the world it means. When I first heard that, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, what does that mean? I had no idea. And I do believe um, the first, I think the first person that ever actually showed me any of this, and it was very quick and on the fly, was at a show ringside when I had I happened to mention just this person that I wasn't certain what that was. And she took the time to show me, and that was Karen Stoffer up here in Canada. Sandy will know who that is. Because um, Sandy has a Karen Stoffer puppy, I believe. So that's how I do that. Then I'll turn her on her side. And I'll look at her shoulder good. Like, what have I missed? I don't know if this is picking up on camera or not, that there might be some longer hairs. Just gives you an idea of what we're working with. But you can see how pretty and tight she is now, but she still has plenty of wire coat. So, from a distance, she would look like a smooth, which is the requirement. Oh, there was a clump there. Um, so you get the idea of rolling the coat. That's rolling the coat, folks gives you a chance just to go back over your dog. And you see how she loves laying here? To her, this is a good deal. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some of the tail. Because too many times people forget about the tail. Come here, sweet girl. She's such a happy girl now. Might have a hard time catching that tail. Oh, can you spin back around for me? The tail and all of this needs to be trimmed up pretty, and I use my thinning shears um, to go over any flyaways here. I've already done it, but here, like you see, here's a little piece right here. I'm kind of fanatic about this stuff, so I like it all to look very neat and clean. So just go over it with your thinning shears and make it nice and pretty. Next, the tail. Don't forget the tail. And don't think you can't hold your dog up with a tail because you can. You don't want a flag on your dachshund's tail. They're not our setters or English setters. So what you want to do is take all of this off. So don't be afraid to pull it. A lot can come off a tail, believe me. And where your tail set is, if you have a high tail set, meaning if your tail set's higher than your, your back, you'll probably want to leave a little more hair right here to even it out. You'll see that trick done. I don't have any dogs with a high tail set, uh, so it's kind of hard for me to show you, but don't be afraid to make this look pretty. Your dog's tail needs to be cleaned up the same as the rest of your dog. 
Don't be afraid to thin it out. Now, taking the undercoat out is doing this. Um, this is, and this can happen anywhere on your dog. If you take and go down your dog's back, you see that little bit of undercoat? That's thinning out the undercoat. See how that pulls that out? You can do the same thing with a bushy tail. Now, if I have a dog that has a really unruly tail and I really want to knead it up, I'll take and part it in the middle. Stand. I'll take and part it in the middle. Then using my thinning shears, I will take and lock that off. I'll bring it down again. Now, thinning shears can be very sharp, so you want to be mindful not to nip your dog. But see now, her tail is much prettier. And do not forget, there's your, your dog's tail, at the tip of the tail, will still grow this long hair at the end. I pull it with my knife to make it pretty and tight, but still kind of pointy. I don't want it pointy pointy, but you can't have it like a nub. So you'll get the hang of it the more you do it. Well, that is doing your dog's legs, rolling a coat, and you can tell I'm never done, never ever done, because I will always see something, and see that'll lay down when I put the uh, gel in it and blow her dry. That's our next step, is to show you how to uh, prepare your dog to be uh, groomed for the show. I will show you how to apply the products, how to blow your dog dry, um, and uh, I think you'll be pretty much on your way. Then it will just be, uh, what questions can I answer for you? Okay, thanks a lot for watching again. This is Abby, signing off.